What's going on guys? Renegade here with you. It is pouring down outside, but uh, we're starting a new video. This is part two of the rebuild of the 2020 Can-Am Renegade 1000. And uh, yeah. So we got the motor back rebuilt, ready to go back in the four wheeler. New spark plugs, intakes all cleaned up. It was so dirty, so, so dirty. Need to wipe it out again, it's been sitting there. But uh, got aluminum valve covers, got some aluminum water necks. And uh, yeah, I got the tranny put on and she is about ready to go. Got a few more things I wanna do right here on a four wheeler, like I snapped the motor off right there. I gotta get that out, um, clean it up a little bit and then start slapping the motor in. So yeah, yes sir. Part two, maybe this time we'll get it running. Mm. A lot of work. All right, y'all. Well, you know that broke, well, yeah, the broke bolt that was uh, stuck in there. Yeah, little bitty uh, wire feed welder. Welded a nut on it, and we got that bad boy out of there. So got that done. I'm gonna try to fix the steering before I put the motor back in. I got a lot of slack, and uh, it's really hard to tell where it's coming from. I don't know, but try to fix it. If not, the motor's going back in. I don't know how far I get tonight. It's kind of late, but uh, yeah. Change of plans. I mean, I don't really know. It's hard to say how that's doing that because that pit my arm is moving. There's some slack somewhere. But like, ever so slightly, I moved that, that moves. Maybe the power steering. We'll uh, tighten it up when I actually drive it. We'll see. Hmm. I'm gonna put a motor in. All right, y'all, I got the motor sitting in there. I got the main motor mount bolts in there. Some new bolts down there. Got the top one in somewhere. But uh, now I got a bunch of other crap to do. I'm gonna do the drive shafts, then the exhaust, and then start doing wires, and then we'll move to the airbox. So, good stuff. All right, well, front drive shafts on, back drive shafts on, bolts in it. Got my coolant hoses hooked up, got a couple of vents hooked up, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for tonight. Got a lot more to do, but at least we're getting closer. All right, y'all. Well, I'm getting in here a little late tonight. Try to put the exhaust on and then get most of this wiring in. Go ahead and dial it. You grease everything, of course. So we'll have to touch it again. But uh, that's probably what we get tonight. So let's get it. All right, y'all. Well, I got the exhaust on, front and back. I got the back exhaust on. It's a little loose because, um, yeah. But I got to find some little rubber adapters for that. But, uh, I got the wires ran, zip tied up how I want. Um, so what's left, gotta put the airbox back on, gotta put oil in it, and gotta put a clutch on to see if it runs. So that'll be a test, pretty close. I'm done for tonight. All right, y'all, so I rinsed out the airbox because it was sunk. It actually was not as dirty as I thought it was gonna be, but uh, this is the old filter. Gonna put a new one in it, put all this stuff back on, and then go back and start putting everything together. All right, y'all, well, I just installed Seco Racing steering stem brace, you know, cause we're gonna be really sitting in this foiler. So I've had it for a while. I was gonna put it on that one, but I went ahead and just go ahead and install it on this, you know. Looks pretty good. Gotta fix the slack somehow, but we'll figure it out later. Well, I got the air box on right here. I haven't bolted it down yet. I'm gonna make sure she runs first. Got oil in it. Got to put the battery back in it. Well, I got to buy a new battery because I sold the other battery. And that was trash. We're going to hook up the jumper cables. I got to put a clutch on it so it'll run. And then we're going to try it. And new screen because the screen don't work. All right, y'all. I had to steal the battery out of that one. Let's see if she starts.
All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna keep installing the air box, put the bolts back in it, and then take this clutch back off and start putting clutches on it. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the extras that I haven't put on here and yet. And this is gonna be the end of this video. So she runs, got a few more things to put on. I'll put all that on, and then I'll have the extras lined up to start a new video and show y'all what I'm putting on it. And then, yeah, that'll be the last build video. And uh, after that, she'll be rolling, ready to ride. And then I'll have a couple more goodies coming. That's gonna be the next video though, because that'll be after she's rolling, riding, getting the motor right, um, hooking it up to my computer, getting all that right. So stay tuned for that one. And until next time, guys.